And for your Saturday before a wintry mix, including the threat for some heavier snowfall ramps up Sunday. More on that busy forecast ahead coming up. Last week's record snowfall caused major problems for Kentucky travelers. Why officials say this weekend will be different. Two foremost, don't get on the highway. The county schools are following new COVID-19 guidance to start the new year. What that means for students next. Live from Lexington, our home, your news. This is Fox 56 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Marvin Bartlett. And I'm Imani Payne. A winter storm watch is in effect for Central Kentucky. We've seen it coming all week and our weather authority team has been tracking it minute by minute. Let's go straight to Chief Meteorologist Chris Johnson for the latest on what we can expect. Yeah, thanks guys. We're going to call it the calm before the storm as we head through tonight, getting into the first part of your weekend with that full forecast here in just a bit. All right, Chris, thank you. After nearly 10 inches of snow hit Fayette County last week, the city is working hard to keep snow off of the roads this weekend. Fox 56's Georgia MacArthur joins us in the studio with details of how the city is preparing for this weekend's snow. Georgia. Yes, the city says it is pulling people from different agencies Sunday in the early afternoon. Imani and Marvin, back to you. Georgia, thank you. But what if you do get stuck on the roads in that winter weather? Just last week, we saw many drivers stuck on Kentucky highways because of the snow. Well, first aid expert Brad Greer says you'll want to have a car emergency kit already packed in your vehicle for worst case scenarios. Greer says it should include warm clothes, blankets, food, portable chargers, and more. Uh, most people don't realize you should have an emergency whistle. If you slip off the road down a r r ravine, you need that whistle to, to blow it loudly so emergency personnel can hear you and, and come to your rescue. You just don't know what's going to happen. You can only control your own driving. You can't control the weather conditions, and you can't control what other drivers are going to do. So take the extra precautions to have that emergency kit at all times. He also says the kit should be kept in the passenger seat and not in the trunk for easy access. To keep up with the latest snow updates, head over to fox56news.com or check out the Fox 56 News mobile app. In other news, Dr. Jill Biden made a stop in Kentucky today. The first lady spent time visiting with members of the Bowling Green community and surveying damage from last month's deadly tornadoes. Dr. Biden arrived to the Creekwood neighborhood of Bowling Green and was greeted, greeted by Warren County Judge Mike Buchanan whose home was in the path of the tornado. She also met with Governor Andy Bashir, First Lady Brittany Bashir, and other local officials to talk about the recovery efforts that are being made. There is hope and there is help. So if you are struggling, come to a disaster recovery center. There are centers all around the state. So let your friends and your families know that help is available. Dr. Biden was originally scheduled to visit Kentucky earlier this month, but that trip was canceled due to our last winter storm. New information shows the state's updated COVID-19 numbers. We do need to make a correction to the numbers we reported at 630, as the state set a new record with more than 13,400 new cases today. There are now more than 2,100 Kentuckians in the hospital with the virus. The state's positivity rate is nearly 29%, and there were 35 new deaths reported today. Health officials maintain that the best way to protect yourself from COVID-19 is to get vaccina vaccinated and to wear your mask. Keeping kids in class during the pandemic, Fayette County Schools announcing new rules today, trying to cut the time students are out of class. Danielle Miskell reports on the changes we can expect to see in the new year. Program and what they found from that is less than 3% of students. Cool. Fox 56 News. Fayette County Schools are continuing to require everyone to report when they've tested positive to the district. They will also be required to test again on day six or seven before returning to school. Some sad news to report tonight as the Pulaski County community is mourning the loss of a first grade teacher. Stephanie Foster died Tuesday due to complications from COVID-19. She had just celebrated her 40th birthday a few weeks ago. Foster worked for the school district for 17 years, most recently at Burnside Elementary. This is the first COVID-19 related employee death in the Pulaski County school system. Foster is survived by her two sons. Coming up, two Kentucky men learn how they'll be punished for taking part in the attack on the U.S. Capitol. Here the sentence handed down by a federal judge that requires some jail time and a cash payment. And if you like camping in the snow, we'll tell you where you can do it for free next week. The 
First 10 minutes of Fox 56 News at 10 were brought to you commercial free. Sponsored by UK.